Good morning vlog. Today is Saturday, May 6th, and I'm about to fulfill a teenage dream of mine. I'm moving to New York City today. I have my sheets with me, my bike with me, and I'm gonna go to Eric's place to put my stuff up for the summer, and then I'm gonna fly. Let's go. Last summer, when I was moving out of my previous apartment, I was a little sad, a little bittersweet that my first year was coming to an end, but moving out of this place, my second year is coming to an end. I am really happy that it's done. I went through a lot this year, and I'm excited for a new chapter in my life. Goodbye to this place. I've had a lot of good memories here, a lot of bad memories here, a lot of happy memories, a lot of time spent crying here. I'm just glad. It's all over now. Alright, I'm in Austin Airport right now. There has been a fascinating turn of events. So, I was supposed to leave from here at 11.30. Um, direct flight from here straight to JFK, but um, the plane that came today, the plane that came today was um, a little smaller than usual. So they actually overbooked the flight by like 10 people, and they were asking for people, for volunteers, to get off of it and get on the next flight. Um, initially, they offered $600, and I thought it's not really worth it. Like I already have plans tonight, and I'm starting work tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I don't want to be like you know delayed or anything. So I didn't take the $600, but then they offered again a thousand dollars, and I was like. You know what? I'll take the risk. I'll show up late to work or something. So I'm still taking a lot of risk here. My bag might not get there. I don't know what's gonna happen with my bag. I was able to get on an earlier flight out of here. Uh, initially, they were gonna put me on a 6.30 p.m. departure, but I was like, I don't really wanna do that. So they put me on an 11.45 out of here, connecting in Atlanta, and I'll get to New York at 6 p.m., I think. But my connection in Atlanta is about 30 minutes, so I'm a little concerned for that, but I'm happy to take the risk. It's a thousand dollars in my pocket. I got two confirmed tickets and a thousand dollars. arrived in Atlanta. I had a really short connection initially, but my connecting flight is delayed by an hour, so I have an hour here in Atlanta. I'm gonna casually make my way to my gate, get some food, all that. Okay, let's go. my food I'm going to my gate um, Atlanta Airport is so vibey there's like two people playing jazz just casually in the airport and there's jazz playing on the loudspeakers too it's so cool arrived in New York the plane was about two hours delayed so it's about 7 p.m. right now I was expecting to get here a little earlier but that's fine um, but 95% of the plane had connecting flights 
so a lot of people missed their flights, a lot of them international as well, so there's gonna be a lot of people staying overnight here at JFK, but I'm glad that that's not me. I'm glad to say I'm part of that 5%. So I'm gonna go pick up my bag, hopefully it's here, and head into town. Alright, I'm gonna go to the baggage services office. I don't think my bag came with me on my flight. I think it got here before me, so I'm gonna see if it's here. And if it's not, man, I don't know what to do. Bag is claimed. Let's go into the city. Okay, I've made it to where I'm staying. Everything has been going alright so far. The last puzzle piece needs to put, be put into place. It's my Airbnb, so I'm gonna go check in. Go check out the place. See if it's good. Let's go. Alright, vlog. I've checked into my Airbnb. This is my place here in New York for the next two and a half months. Um, I haven't looked around the place yet. The guy that checked me in was really fast, so I literally just got in here two minutes ago. We're gonna do a quick little house tour and then we'll talk a little bit about the day. So this is my bed. My bedroom, I should say. Um, it's cute. It is as advertised online. It's my little closet space. Out the corridor. I don't know who lives here yet, so I don't know. I'm scared. This is the bathroom. I haven't even seen this yet. It looks clean. It's good. Down the other corridor. We have the kitchen. Fridge, freezer. And that looks so good. Alright guys, I am in the room that I'm going to be spending the next two months in. Let me turn the fan off. I can't believe this is real. So I haven't really announced anywhere except to my friends what I'm doing, but I'm going to be here in New York City for the next 10 weeks working as a docent in the National Museum of Mathematics. I'm really excited for that. My day one, my first day is actually tomorrow, so I'm excited for a whole new chapter of my life living here in the big city. This has been my childhood dream, more of a teenage dream, I guess, to live in a big city um, like New York City. And speaking of, it is actually also in my 30 before 30 list, so I actually added this in last week, but <laughs> let me see if you can see that. Okay, so there you go. Number 20, live in New York City. It's checked off the list, and I'm so excited. I'm very happy with the area that I'm staying in. It's a very Asian area, um, which means that I'll hopefully be very comfortable here walking around at night. I just feel amazingly blessed and so grateful to be here right now in New York City. Oh, I'm so excited for the next few months. I think that's all that I have to say today for this vlog. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more New York City vlogs. Okay, bye.